Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on a behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a very important software. Today we are going to discuss in detail about the software Ankevision for PC. So basically in this video, we are going to discuss with you what is Ankevision and briefly discuss how you can install the software how you can configure the software to make the camera live and able to access all its feature and after that we will tell you that how you explore each and every option in this video so keep watching till end please like share our video and subscribe to our channel okay so basically NK Vision software is a CMS which is used to connect as well as control the CCTV camera on your screen it is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet okay so once you configure the software can then you are able to access live view of the camera able to access all its feature earlier in our video we will give you a description about this that video that how you configure the software the basically the purpose of this video we are going to discuss in detail about the each and every option of the software so let us start our, our practical parts so for that you should open the chrome and search for Ankevision for PC and press enter ok and here on the top of the list you find my favorite web website just open the website and download button link here you find the software link for windows just click on that and after that you should wait for a few seconds then your file become ready to download just click on that and Close this at now your file is start downloading. Let the installation that the download to be finished and after that we will tell you uh, that how you configure this software. Okay. Now the downloading is finished, now just click on this show in folder option and it will redirect to you to a download page. Here is your downloaded file, just right click on the downloaded file and click as extract to NKVision. When you do this, you find the folder name same as the file name. Open the folder and just right click on the application file and click as run as administrator. So basically this is the part that how you install the, the software. Just click on yes 
and here that what the function you want so basically i will leave the entire thing as see you in the screen we don't going to change anything just click install now it is totally automatic process so you, you you just sit and watch once it is successful installations then you get the finished message now it is installed now you should click on this create a desktop icon if you want and click on the launch client is to be ticked because when you click finish it automatically open the software so just click finish If you want to upgrade detection enable then click on the enable otherwise disable so i just go for the disable and here it, it you find the option of a languages okay now you should create a super username and password so here i just create my username and the password okay please note that password is 18 to 16 character long and you must use a special character Okay, so here is my password and just click auto login when you just click auto login you don't want to click login again and again so just click login now here you find that questions please take questions seriously the father name here you enter and here is your favorite to me be you can anything like and here you should ask for a favorite game you can use anything like in my case just click login now this is the interface of the software okay now the first thing you should do that you should go to device management okay and here you should click on the online devices when you click on the online devices listen me very carefully if your pc means of your laptop and your device device mean dvr nvr or, or camera is on the same network or if you same network means it is connected locally locally means they are connected to the same router then when you click on online devices you should find that your, your device comes online here everything is shown here okay so one way is to is that just click tick this and click add when you do this it asks for a name you can put anything like test device 
okay and click okay and here please click password so please don't be confused it is the username and password of the device device means dvr nvr so don't be confused here okay and click add now it you show that device comes online and everything is mentioned here the first thing you, you should find the remote configuration and everything is here okay even you can edit the device and now after that you just close this button and go to the main menu okay so in this way you can add the software okay just double click here okay so in this way you can your camera comes online okay so just close this again and again go to device management this is the first way please listen me ke very carefully this is the first way this is the first way and this is the ideal way so just delete this and again if you want to connect your device manually means this is not coming in here means it, it doesn't come in online devices then for, for that you should click add and here you find a lot of options like ip domain ip segment cloud p2p high ddns RAS import many more okay so first thing i will tell you here that how you connect by using ip domain here you should enter your device name okay and here you should create insert the device address okay and here you find that i put my local ip address and again just click username admin please don't be confused here again it is the username and password of the device device means that dvr and vr just click add it takes time to come in the main menu here you find that's online okay so again go to device management just click edit and put the test device other than you put test device test okay now click edit and just go to the close this main menu now this is the first way now i will tell you second way that how you add if your dvr don't comes here means you are on not on the same network for that you should click on this plus add button so please listen me very carefully first way i will tell you earlier in this video now i will tell you second way if you are if you are on not on the same network okay and if your dvr don't comes here and vr don't comes here in this portion when you click on online devices it it, do, it doesn't show if it is not shown here then you should click on this plus add button and here you should find a lot of option but you should select ip domain and click for test one okay and here you should enter your local ip address now here it don't be confused it asks for username and password it is the username and password of the device device means dvr and vr so don't be confused and click add okay just close this button and go to the main menu here you find test one just double click it and it asks for a stream key and i will tell also that how you get the stream key okay so in this way your camera comes online okay so this is the second way so just click close this 
and just close this and close this and again go to device management and again click plus add and if you want to connect your device remotely means if you ever TV and we are remotely connect your DVR and VR then for that you should click client P2P okay and here it asks your region just click India and click login when you do this you find that ask for a username and password so you should enter the username and the password okay so in this way you can use that for example when you want to use that you are able to add by using your this in this way you can connect your device remotely okay and you can also the thing by using HID DNS okay this all options you comes to this is by using when you go to the platform access you find all the option here so this is the way to connect your device now we'll tell you three way of after telling you that how many way you can connect your device so basically you are connect your device using a three way first on the online devices second manually and by third using p2p okay now just close all the thing now i will elaborate one by one option the second option is that main view spot to access the live view of the camera and the second option is remote playback so for basically this option is used to remotely check your device recording so just click on that here you find that recording okay so basically you see that you find the color different color to show the recording okay so if you want to check the record just click on that click here you you should enter your from time and start time and end time and click ok and click your device and click your ip cam so basically this is the way to check the recording okay and if you want to download it then you can download it from here just double click here here you can fast forward the recording like this okay so in this way you can check fast forward your recording and here you find that the download button so you want to download it then you can download it by using this when you click on this here it asks to select a camera and please select the camera time and click download so in this way you can download your record okay for example if i want to check a recording of some other days and i should click here here you find the blue color option so basically that blue color option shows the recording for example if i want to check the record of third then i select three and click ok so in this way i can check the record of Sixteen, nineteen, twenty-four. Okay. So again, you can change the time. Just click first here and just click first here and click ok now you find that it shows me recording of 1 1 0 to 4 so and here from that you if you want to check the record then 
you can check the record like this okay like 14 here you should change option 14 zero two and zero zero so in this way it will shows me a very smart time record very very less time you can check the recording of a very shorter period of time so just click on the download this so just click here and just click download okay so basically it's 6.10 MB. Just click on this. Now to start downloading in this way. So in this way you can you can download the record. So this is very useful option. That why I will show you a way that how you check the record. Now the question arises: Where should that record store? So basically, when you go to the directory. Over that you could find the this this file. Okay. Later on I will tell you. Okay. Now just, just close this button. So basically this is used to check the recording of the camera. And here you should find the setting option. Like here you find the how how you find the in BMP in MP4 video format and not much storage and service play for 30 seconds everything here you find the fall so this is the default locations okay see user public nk vision so in this way you can able to find your recording like here you find the recording from here okay this is the record file so this is the way the question arises that where that record is stored so basically you, if you change that default format default file location from here to some other locations then your file is your recording will record at that locations you find the toolbar options like many things so just close this now just close this so basically this is the very giant soft kind of software lot of option is there but i will tell you only those option which is necessary now here you find the data retrieval option that doesn't use for for us because this is not a very simple option this is used for if you are camera is ai enabled means whether it is a face retrieve human behavior vehicle hard hat ai dashboard retrieval face recognition then only that you are able to this option but i will tell you that for what purpose these are using okay and here you found the report so report is basically used for when you retrieve the data then after that if you want to check the recording if you want to check that that data the by the by here you can check the records okay like, like queue management heat map interest analysis real time temperature map and lot of options now this option is particularly used for access control so if you have and give an access control like door a door lock system or a or a attendance machines then you are able to the here you are able to add the person in this way you can add the person here you give the from here here you want you give access for example if a person one where it access but where, where you just allow that person so that doesn't use for this and here you for monitoring and time readiness and here you find the e-map event center security control topology okay this is the journal applications so where for that event configuration is used for the for example here you find the event configuration so let tell you that event configuration what actually the event configuration configuration is just select the camera and here you find the lot of option like intrusion detection modern de motion detection so in this way you can vehicle detection so in this way you can manage your camera like on and off settings temperature setting whatever if your camera is already temperature enabled then you can trigger that on and off that from here okay like this for example if you 
select the object removal and vehicle loss object removal motion detection if you click there and and you here you click the priority then you find that uncategorized so you can if you select on higher direction then it, it, will, it will give you pop up again and again okay when some motion is there so basically this is used for to to control the event means for example if a smoke detection is occurred if somebody smoke at that particular camera and if you enable this then you have a pop up message so basically it is used for that purpose okay here you find the edit linkage option audible warning what kind of warning you are able to to show and you are able that okay just close this button and here you you find that storage schedule so so if you if you have a some some recording schedule for example if you want to switch off the recording on um, sunday then you can do this by here we can dictate template you can means you can schedule your recording in a proper way by using this up this option okay if you have a, any server storage then you should up clear from if you if you want to store it on pc then you can do the funds the same from here here you i found the advanced option okay so where you want to uh, record your starting in a main stream or a or on a sub stream you can all do this from here and here you find the account management so basically this is used that it is a super username and password if you want to change the password if you want to create a new user who can only view the camera so and not able to change then you can make a new user for example here you find you you make the new user and give for example you want to just camera setting and user management what kind of option like you want to give it you if if if, if you allows if you make a user who can access only only a 16 only of one camera out of 16 you have a 100 cameras all on your premises and you want to access you, you want to give them access only one camera or four camera then you can do all the same you can do all the thing from here okay for example here i give you password and i want to see that e, that only one camera then just click all and click camera setting and get here client group group management template advance linkage person and live view here you should click the live view and give the that particular game and cancel and click save then by using this option that user means administrator user type user new user one will only access this camera okay now here you find the system configuration this is the very important for the for example if you want to change the image parameter like full screen balance vca rule overview rule self adaptive self adaptive means if your cam if you have a network bandwidth become, becomes low and the camera auto goes into sub stream so basically use for that okay here you find that channel option so how you want to display your camera like this okay and live and playback so video format all the things from here and even picture storage how where it, it, it is stored that so here is that store alarm sound so in this way you can change the things from here like email for the pop-up so in this way you can change the thing all the from here okay and the final one is system log and system log is very important is very very important people are not using a system for example if i want to complain my service provider that my one camera is not coming on the screen it goes offline it goes online and he want to check when it goes offline and online one way is that he should check the record another way that is that you give up when you search for the log of today's the camera comes look like this uh, who's here you, you you find the option like test one 
and you here you find the stop recording or stop playback or you, you should find stop live you like this so in this this means that camera comes live from that so basically so you can che check all the event from here so who from which username somebody record my download so all the thing you can access from here okay let's close this option again so this is all for this software here you found event center so you can create an event so hope this is all main op main option i will tell you in this video only a main option which is necessary for the uh, for a user to know that so if you want any more option to elaborate please comment me definitely i will make a video or i will reply you that what that option used for so thanks for watching thank you have a nice day